ugly thing off on me, you know. And here's a brown one. And look, I got a lot of little hats for a dollar that'll that'll fit you that were on sale. I think I think it was Kmart. See? A little red one and a little blue one. And so that when we go outside this winter, so you can't take your puppets outside so that they're gonna look cold, because it just won't be natural. See the little gloves? Yeah, little baby gloves. Mm-hmm. I hate them. I'm not gonna wear any of that junk. Oh, you are too. I'm not. Yes, you are. I am not. You just wait and see. Huh. Now this is Rosita, Rosita Chiquita. Hola. And she, I wanted a Spanish-speaking puppet. But the ones in the uh, brochure didn't have, uh, they were light faces and I wanted a darker face. So what I did was order the Oriental version and make her into Spanish. I also ha uh, got this beautiful wig from a wig catalog. Now I have several different wig catalogs that I will give you the names if, again, you send me a double stamp business size self-addressed envelope and I'll give you the addresses where you can order these wigs at a real reasonable price. Now this dress was just a long dress. I wanted something kind of loud that I um, bought at a resale shop. I think it was Goodwill. And I cut the back because it wasn't wide enough for this slip. Now this is a square dance slip. Um, I bought it at a resale shop. And she has got legs and little black, little red tights and little black patent leather shoes. She has a light blue dress with polka dots and a, a little white mantilla. And a little flower behind her hair. I put little eyelashes. They weren't there. I put the eyelashes on her. Um, little stick on eyelashes right around there. And then a shawl. I stuffed her right here, you can tell. And I've got her hand pinned right there naturally. Let's look at Rosita singing a song for us. Rosita's boyfriend, Pancho. Pancho has two big hats. He's got an orange one and a green one. And then this small one. He has various other ones in between. And I took the, this also, because I wanted a darker uh, skin, I bought the Oriental puppet instead of the, the regular Spanish one. And then we put sleepy eyes. I took off the eyes that were on there and then glued on some, and painted some sleepy eyes. See if you can see how the eyes look sleepy. Um, I added, yes, I added this mustache. Sometimes, I can't remember what I do, I have so many. I added this mustache to make him look more Spanish because he was Oriental. And I added the eyebrows too to make him look Oriental. But he already had the hair because you can order bald or, or hair, the hair kind. But he's got a bald head on the top. I should mention here, uh, I said that they cost a lot of money, but I want to mention why they cost so much. There's several reasons. One is that there's not a real big market for them. And uh, so that there's a lot of technical detailed work, as you can see the way when we made puppets in the puppet making show. But one of the other reasons is, I say this again and again, when I first started out with ventriloquism and puppetry, if I used the puppets that were from the store, uh, right away the kids in the audience or the kids in my classroom would say, I got one just like that at home. And it really blows you away. So uh, when the prices are higher, like they are going to be on some of these, not everyone, do everyone doesn't have them, so it's more unique for you to have the puppets. That's another explanation that I have. I added this foam around the edge underneath the turtleneck and I safety pinned it in the back. Just extra one inch foam, or you could put two inch foam, kind of his pants hanging over his stomach. I've got several shirts for him too. Then he's got um, some old jeans that I rolled up and a long time ago I made, you can get these what are called crazy feet at craft stores. I put a little strap sandal across them and paint them with acrylic paint. Um, also you could make if you see one of the other uh, videos, films that we have, it tells how to make little bare feet. 
the soft, soft sculpture type. I mean, Flathead. Hey, Flathead, why do they call you Flathead? Bull. Flathead is a very unusual puppet. And, of course, this is my hand up my sleeve. And he's a wide face puppet. He even have a little zipper up his back. And he comes from the same company that the other puppets that I just showed you came from. And I've got a whistle tied around his neck. He can blow in the song. He sings a song called Funny People. Want to sing that a little bit? Funny people, funny people. All around us are weird looking people. Oh, wide world of funny people. I took the other hand, two gloves came with the puppet, and I took the other hand and stuffed it. There's little wires in here so that I can bend it. Of course, these are, this is my hand. Um, you can tell that. These are crazy feet that I got out of a, a costume catalog and just made, I stuffed some legs and a little pair um, of bib overalls and a shirt. This is the shirt that he, he came with. The crazy feet are safety pinned on. There's a whole family of puppets like this, but my favorite ones I call Flathead and the other one I